What's up? We are in Arizona. In our last video, we were in Kansas City taking a ton of stuff out of the scamp. And in the comments, a lot of you wanted to see what the scamp now looks like. So I'm going to take you on a tour. Oh, hello. Welcome to the master bedroom. We're still sort of using the same blanket system. We just have a couple layers, nothing fancy at all. We've cleared out a bunch of our extra stuff. So under here, we still have camping supplies. Should I pop that open and show them? Spare boots, all of our camping gear in a backpack, snow pants, climbing gear, and our tent is all under there. Over here. This is the best size now, Jane, because you can fit it in pockets. I don't know if they still make it in this spout and stuff anymore, but it's awesome. Also, our OKC. Hashtag. This bin has our electric heater that we got from Walmart, a laser. You know, just in case. Ropes and extra climbing gear stuff. This is all of Elsa's snowboarding stuff in her spacesuit in case it gets cold. Under here is most of my clothes. I have a little bit more in a bag back there. That stuff is more cold weather gear. When I store my clothes, I like to just roll them so that they can fit nicely and then I can fit a lot of things and that way it's easy to grab them out. Elsa's clothes. Same sort of deal. We've found that compartmentalizing things really makes it a lot easier to find them whenever you're looking. So here's the closet. When I'm layering clothes, I try to put the thing that I plan on wearing last in first so that I can peel off the shirts that I wear most often and then I can put them in the dirty clothes. I have three or four hangers full of clothes and Elsa has two. So she's winning. But, but, factor in the giant tub, okay? And then here we have camera stuff. Again, like modularization is key. So all of our chargers and stuff are in here. This is sort of my side of this bench. Elsa and I throw our stuff here throughout the day. Fly rod that I hope to convert into a Tinkara rod, some socks, my backpack, an ax, a hatchet, a shirt, and a crocodile Dundee hat. Up here is where we generally keep all of our hats. We've rained down our hat collection recently. We just got this fan. It is powered by a USB, so we can use it with little mobile battery packs. So that'll be a lot nicer than having a fan with rechargeable batteries that you have to take in and out. Under here, we still have the same storage, but it's virtually empty now since we've gotten rid of so much stuff. These are our Reflectix window covers. They're super awesome. Elsa made them. We just cut up Reflectix to fit and then painted them. We also taped magnets on the back so that they just snap onto the windows. And this is Elsa's side. So we got the uke and her backpack. And then this book is awesome. Um, she's just been healing the both of us for <laughs> coming up on a year now. This book is actually what kind of got us interested in um, foraging because she was like flipping through and finding flowers and stuff. There's some foraging books. These are the only books that we've opted to keep because when you are foraging or out um, identifying things in the wild, it's worthwhile to have a physical copy. Here are our shoes and the tank drum. Currently, Elsa is winning the shoe efficiency battle. Here we have our tools compartment. I got rid of a lot of the tools that I did bring, opting to not have any electric tools really. This little kit from Ikea is awesome. It has lots of the things that you need and it is pretty well contained. So here we have the kitchen. Uh, the reason that everything is sort of out of place is because we just put this shelf in and we want to figure out what things we're going to have on the shelves and where exactly they're going to go so that we can make little drawers to slide them in and out. But right now we don't really have any idea what that's going to look like. So for now we're just using these different baskets to hold things. Here we have dog bowls, some nuts, our water, all of our canned goods and non-perishables, crackers and chips and things of that nature. Our cooler for the time being while we figure out what we're gonna do about that. Some baby wipes, cause those are a definite necessity. And veggies and a trash can. So we have our fancy new backsplash from Oak and Mortar. Thank you, Stephen Travis Huckabee. We have some magnets that Elsa put up here for teas and herbs and stuff. And then we have cut down our utensils so that we just have a pair of scissors, a few knives, and then 
two spoons, two forks, and a set of chopsticks. Then we've been keeping the battery up here because we use them so often. And that way we can actually run the solar panel outside, position it in the sun so that we can be charging things and getting some battery back. We're still using the bio lights, both the base lantern and these little nodules, I forget what they're called, but they're awesome. Up here, everything is still about the same. We've just gotten rid of a lot of things that we didn't need. Another thing that we noticed is if you can find cups that stack together nicely, it'll save you some space. We got some new metal plates. They're a little bit more hygienic than our last. Spices, coffees, and teas. We have a video on all this if you guys want to check it out. Should we show them the outside? Sure. Oh, this is kind of a cool thing. Treats for camp, because we're trying to teach him to come and run back to us after he runs away. Not working super well, but... This is our outdoor living room. We have a crash pad for bouldering that works as a couch. We have our propane tank, water, some extra reflectix and stuff, and then all of our cooking equipment. Uh, we've changed this quite a bit, but we have a video on how we were doing it when we were in Colorado. Our outdoor table is awesome. You can adjust these legs so it can go all the way up to a bar stool height or it can go all the way down to sitting on the ground and eating height. Solar panel, still the same 30. We're thinking about getting a little bit more power. So we might get, I don't know, a 100 or something just so that we can stay off the grid and not go into town so often. New old car that has been awesome so far. Anything else? Come over here. So this is our third Scamp Tour video. The first one was at one month in Kansas City. The second one was in the mountains at six months. And now we're just past 12 months out here in the desert. So all of them are relevant and cool. A little bit different perspective in each. If you like this video where Baron does all the talking, let me know and we'll do more of those. If not, sorry about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 <laughs>